the two-day BJP National Executive Meeting will begin in Hyderabad today. The party is expected to explore ways to expand its footprints in the southern states, including in Telangana. The party would focus on the achievements of the Modi government and set the agenda for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls in 2024 by attacking dynastic politics. This is one issue which you are has seen the ruling TRS and the BJP coming face to face in the past as well. And the Prime Minister during his recent visit to Telangana in May attacked the dynasty parties in a public speech and attacked the TRS on its home turf. The TRS hit back even on the party's foundation day. On the 6th of April, the PM attacked the dynasty politics saying that there were many parties in different states that kept a family above everything else and alleged that uh, their was a collusion between them uh, to hide each other's corruption. The BJP will make uh, Vanshad or dynasty a big political issue in the upcoming uh, Lok Sabha elections, that's in 2024, of course, uh, though critics uh, have raised questions over its own record where many BJP leaders have successfully launched their kin into the party. The Prime Minister is against giving tickets to the children of the party leaders. That's what the BJP has in fact said in the past. Big cutouts of the BJP leaders, the tallest of them all, Mr. Narendra Modi and of course the party president, Mr. J.P. Nadda. They have come up all over town, posters, flags, billboards, everywhere. It is a saffron hue that Hyderabad is wearing ahead of the National Executive Committee meeting here in the city. Yes, a massive roadshow by the BJP president as soon as he landed here at the Hyderabad airport. What to expect from the National Executive Council? Of course, the last time, November 2021, when it was held in Delhi, it was ahead of those important elections in five states, including Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab and so on. And after the strategies that were drawn up, of course, four out of five of those, those states, the BJP had managed to win. And this time round, Telangana very carefully chosen because it's one of the states, of course, that will be going to elections in 2023, other than Gujarat, uh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh uh, and so on. And yes, uh, we are looking at uh, uh, the uh, state in on which the BJP now wants to focus majorly because they believe that they have a good chance here there is a political space that they believe and they want to pitch for becoming an alternative to the trs and that's why uh, the big push in telangana the choosing of telangana or hyderabad is a location for the nec as well what nagraj is now trying to show you uh, is actually the poster war that started in uh, in Hyderabad with uh, the ads that the BJP has put up and competing ads that the TRS has put up which of course is now pitching to become a national party and uh, they are uh, talking about the schemes that they are doing and in fact Mr. K.T. Ramarao has said that uh, the people of Telangana must ask the centre to implement these schemes elsewhere. They are having also something called a Sampark kind of an abhiyan uh, where uh, all the members of the national executive were expected to go to all the 119 constituencies, assembly constituencies in the states. In fact, they have spent last two to three days there finding out the mood of the people and subsequently to draw out the kind of strategy that would be there. Of course, the BJP state president, Mr. Bandi Sanjay, has also been on a yatra, Praja Sangrama yatra, all through the state. So, while the strategies for not just these assembly elections that are coming up, all for the, also for the general elections that are coming up in 2024, expected to be drawn out here. Special focus certainly is going to be Telangana. Of course, security will be a big thing because all the VVVIPs are going to be here. And that's why Section 144 has also been imposed uh, in Hyderabad. In many parts, uh, the Cyberabad Commissioner has imposed uh, from the 1st to the 4th onwards. In Hyderabad, with camera person Nagraju, Umasudhir, NDTV.